Hey everybody, welcome back to my anime channel, Giz Anime. Today we're going to be doing yet another figure unboxing of a couple rather unique characters from a uh, rather obscure anime that I've been watching. Uh, funny enough, a season <laughs> 2 has just come out this season and uh, I find that really unique because I'm guessing that it was successful enough to get a season two, but it's just really not talked about. And that anime is called Shadow's House. And the characters that we'll be unboxing today are the main characters, Emiliko and Kate. So the anime's premise is basically this girl, uh, she's considered a living doll, but she's supposed to be like the face of the shadow called Kate. And they're both actual, they have like physical forms, you know, they both look humanoid. But you find out a whole lot of weird things going on in the anime as the first season continues. And not to spoil a, a whole lot, just in case anyone wants to get into it. But basically, these two girls are not your norm of what goes on in the house. And they're kind of trying to figure out later in the season what's really going on and what the purpose of the house really is and like I said the fact that we got a season two is really interesting so if I were you um, especially if you like these figures I would really give it a go even if you don't like the figures honestly I would really give this one a watch uh, at least for the first few episodes each season it's like I think 12 episodes so it won't take too long to get through and it's really interesting um, but with that said let's get on to the figures themselves and see what they look like see if you're interested in them which might interest you to watch the anime and i will see you there <laughs> Alright, so first off, we're going to take a look at the base as always, and this time it's just a square base, so you don't even get like the typical regular circle base that's clear and plastic. Um, I do like black a lot more, but it's still just your plain, boring, typical base. So, that's a negative as far as I'm concerned but there's nothing else to go over with these. So first off, I guess we're gonna look at Kate first. All right, so this is Kate. Uh, again, she is the shadow form. Uh, Amelico would be the humanoid doll-like form. That is, she's technically supposed to mirror Kate's expressions, feelings, things like that, so she's and Milico is technically her face to others who Kate communicates with. So every shadow has a living doll counterpart that mimics their expressions. All right, so here is a picture of the face. We have like these really pretty roses on the top of her hair to help make pigtails uh, and just to give her a little more color. She's really decked out in red uh, red being another one of my favorite colors so the whole black and red aesthetic is really appealing to me i like how they managed to differentiate the shading in her hair somewhat enough or to mold it to the point where it doesn't look like it's all one solid piece just adhere to her face one of the things i find a little unsettling is her face though uh, in the anime it's more just kind of flat so you don't even see like these sunken eyes on her. Uh, I actually just got through watching the fourth episode of season two today. And yeah, I can't recall that she has uh, eyes that kind of sink in her face like that. So that's a little creepy. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. I'll go back and look at it later. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm right. Uh, we go further down though onto her dress. And she has like these really pretty bows on her dress here that just go down along the dress uh, she has a lot this like really unique pattern on her clothing as well they give it kind of a bit of definition as we continue to go down the dress again with the pattern on the dress 
with several different folds, you know, kind of separating it to give it a little bit of fluid movement. And then we have a white trim along the bottom. Uh, we also have a white trim around her hands. All right, and then her feet and her shoes. So we've got like this lace looking like stuff on the top and the kind of look like the bottom of the sock. Um, I'm not really sure what this is, but it looks really unique and I like it. Again, with the red on her shoes, with this bow on each of the shoes. So a little bit of detail here. Not, not overflowing with detail, but not nothing either. All right, and just to show off a little bit of the back, uh, she has several different strands of hair to give her hair like volume and almost like a bit of bounce to it. The lighter color in the bottom is obviously the light reflecting. So it's literally her, her coloring, again, she's a shadow, is nothing but black. Uh, so there's no not a whole lot of detail going on with her. But again, I find her character really unique, especially in the anime. She's really kind of smart and cunning, uh, really resourceful, and she really analytical is how I'll put it. But once again, this is Kate from Shadow's House. Next up is Emilico. All right, and this is Emilico from Shadow's House, the counterpart to Kate, uh, in quite a few ways, honestly. Uh, so in the show, Emilico is more of a fun-loving, go-happy girl who just finds the positivity and literally everything that she can. Uh, whereas Kate is kind of the opposite of that, really down to earth and like I said, analytical and she thinks things through. Whereas Emilico wears her feelings on her sleeves. Uh, she doesn't really let anything get her down too bad and she tries to you know stay cheerful and upbeat. Um, which is kind of the issue in the show at the beginning of the show because again She's supposed to mirror Emil or Kate and she kind of just does her own thing All right, so here is Emilico's face I'm really liking the bright vivid eyes that she has the small that smirky little smile on her face and just like Kate she has like these little ribbons on her hair, not the roses though, but she does have pigtails. Uh, in the show, the living dolls in the shadows pretty much look the same. She has like this, uh, I'm not really sure what this is called on the dress, this kind of part over her shirt. Again, with like Kate, she has a whole lot of different strands in her hair too, to give it volume and kind of a fluid flowing motion. I really like when they make the hair look more like hair and not just one solid piece. Uh, even though it is one solid piece, don't get me wrong, but it looks like it has, you know, depth and detail to it. We have several different folds in her shirt to, to show again movement or just creases, things of that nature, to give it a little more character. All right, moving down to her dress, it is a solid white with a bit of pink and blue to just give it a little bit of a highlight. Here, I'm sure you all could see this little character here is a doll that is made from Kate's soot. So, Emilico made the doll and filled it with Kate's soot. There's a little more to this, but going into further detail would kind of ruin some things in the show. So. We'll leave it at that. I can't remember what Emilico calls the doll, but it does have a name too. All right, so down to her boots. She has, again, with the pink highlights on the top, around the trim, with some white and blue on the side of it. You know, just giving it a little, little more detail. We've got like these blue buttons on the side of it. And then on the back, again, with the flowing hair. And we have like this large bow on the back to where she's tied. I guess this is an apron over her dress that she's wearing because she is a bit of a maid. She cleans the house a lot. She also takes care of all the chores around the living area that these two stay in. So she's not just the face of Kate. She's also, you know, the person who does all the menial work as well. 
for her part, she seems to rather enjoy cleaning quite a lot, so. Alright, on her arm, we also have another one of those pink little uh, highlights around the uh, cuff of the shirt. Uh, again, on this pocket here. And even her fingernails have the same pink coloring on them. I'm pretty sure you really can't tell. Uh, but yeah, it's there. Alright, everybody. But that is Kate and Emilico from Shadow's House. Overall, I really like these figures. Uh, they're not as big as I thought they would be. They're a little smaller. Uh, but the detail in them is pretty stunning. And the fact that you get essentially two figures for the price of one is kind of nice uh, because they both come in the box. Uh, there is one other figure of Emilico. Probably not going to get it, but it's of her with a broom, probably bigger than this one. And it's just her by herself. But overall, I would give. Detail wise, I would give them a 10 out of 10. Uh, Kate, again, her face is throwing me off a bit. So overall, I'd give these figures a good seven, eight out of 10. But they are starting to get a little bit pricey. The ones that I got were off of eBay and after taxes and shipping and all, it cost me 210. But after that, it really starts to skyrocket. I've seen them as high as something around 300 something dollars, so be aware of that if these are figures you're interested in getting, to get them as soon as possible because I just see the price of them going up and up uh, for a little while, especially since apparently, again, it seems to be popular enough to have gained a second season. Yeah, check it out. Let me know what you all thought of these two girls, Kate and Emilico, once again from Shadow's House, and I will see you all next time.